OK, so Manchester United have hit a really good vein of form lately and uh, they, they've really been playing very well. And I want to have a look at what, what Eric Ten Hag has done to turn the fortunes around at Manchester United. Because if you look at the end of last season, the beginning of this season, perhaps during the first couple of games, they were awful. They were dreadful. And, you know, many United fans from across the board were, were having a go at uh, the club and having a go at the manager for the horrible way they were playing. But Eric Ten Hag has turned it around. And I think it's because of a couple of reasons. Firstly, He's taken out the players who don't play badly, who don't play very well. I mean, you know, that is, for me, that's the most logical thing that anyone could have done. Harry Maguire, for example, who, of course, is rated as a very good player. I think he was just put on the team sheet for just for reasons. You know, he was, he's Harry Maguire. He's worth a lot of money. Put him on the team sheet. But he's not in very good form. Hasn't been for a long time. So taking him out of the, the equation, I think, has done one thing to help. The other thing that's helped, I think, is that he's brought in players who he knows are going to perform for the club. You know, not players who are going to turn up, take the money and not really do anything. He's, he's picked players who are going to play for the club and are going to work hard for the club. And I think that, again, that's just basic common sense, isn't it? You know, why pay 80 million, for example, for a player who isn't really very good, but you pay 80 million for him anyway? Or do you pay money for someone who you know is good and who will play well for the team? I think it's it's obvious Anthony of course is a huge amount of money they spent on Anthony but he's a good player and Eric Tang Hag knows him and knows he knows what he gets from him and that's why he's bought him and I think it's just those small little things things that most clubs do if they're in trouble um, and they've got the money to do it of course those tiny little things are what I think has helped Manchester United he's created competition for, for places you know he's now saying hey, look if you don't play well you're not in the team and I think they haven't had that at Manchester United for a little while. And I think that's one of the key areas for me. They've developed competition for for places. And, you know, they've also... And I know Cristiano Ronaldo isn't playing very often. He isn't playing the whole game, every game. But I think he's being used wisely. And I think the reason why is because he knows. I think Eric Tang Hag is doing a kind of super sub with him. So he'll play him the last 10, 20 minutes of a game because he knows he's going to be fresh, he's going to be fast. And, you know, the... Opposition are going to be, you know, tired and, and, you know, a little bit out of sorts by then. And he can come in, get behind him and score goals. And I think that that's, that's the reason why he's playing him as he is. I don't think it's that he doesn't want Cristiano Ronaldo or he doesn't want to play him. I think he's just using him in the best way that he can at the moment. Because, you know, I, I don't think personally Ronaldo is a very fit individual, but he's getting older. And I think that now this might be his best role as a super sub coming on, scoring goals doing his business when he can and I think that's that's the main reason for me why he's doing so well but Man United fans let me know what you think about uh, about the, the turnaround at Manchester United why do you think it's happened and do you agree with me about Ronaldo or do you think he should be playing all game every game let me know down below